Are we still alive? Unless it's a hallucination, but I doubt that. You know, I wonder something. <laughs> Super strength stasis. Fuck them up. Well, that's one way to deal with him there. I shot him in the head and then you crushed him. That's pretty efficient, if you ask me. Fire! 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 Get it! Fire! Okay, now what? Three receptacles, three statues, three markings. What's the final step? Step one, cut a hole in a box. Step two, put your junk in that box. Okay, 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 okay. So this is the middle one. So it goes here in the middle. So... Yeah, that goes there. So there's more on the ends there. You go get the ones on the left, I'll get the ones on the right. What? I got the one from my end. Here. Let me get, let me, let me get down from here. Look, Carver, another door. We gotta be close to the control center for the Codex. We've got everything else Serrano said to do. Let's head in. All right, into the breach, my friend. Why do I get the feeling this is the dock? Well, I've gone and busted my knee open. I suppose the Codex is in my HUD's hands by now. And this place is about to be buried. Like everywhere else. <laughs> I remember telling my college professor I wanted to study Xenoarchaeology. He laughed right in my face. There's nothing to study. He said, it's all dead space. No alien life exists out in the universe. In a way, I guess he was right. There is no life beyond our system. Only a trail of extinction wrought by the moon. And now, it's right on our doorstep. Well, above us lies the means of turning off the machine, but also the means to complete it. Turning it off will finish our species. Completing it will save us. I had hoped to be here to witness the saving part. It would have been spectacular to witness the moon getting pulled into the planet and crushed to oblivion. A final act by the natives. A sacrifice to save us all. But now, I must rest. Perhaps Tim will be along soon with the Codex. Yeah, that's the doc. You did good, Doc. You did good. All right. Well, gone and busted my knee open. Whoa! Holy shit! Wow! What is that? Shit! That burns you. Oh, that's great. Left or right, don't get hit by it. We also have the watch dog getting smashed by that. Yeah, that. Oh, shit. Alright, go. Go. Oh, goddammit, middle. Stasis is doing it again. Hold on. Alright, go, 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 go. Okay, we should be 
good. That's a little too close for comfort on that stasis. You think? Alright, I got it, stasis. Fucking hell. It looks like it's glitching out for me too. Like it's in the middle right now. We're not gonna. Oh, go right, go right. Got it, stasis. Go. <laughs> Shit. Is this some kind of vent? Whoa. So uh, not fucking ominous. What the hell? Is this under all the ice? It must be. All right. Let's fucking do this. Owen, Isaac, don't do it. Don't listen to him. Give me the codex and you can have her back. No! Isaac, you know what's at stake. Okay, everybody calm down. Don't trust Alton John. Give me the codex or I will kill her. No! Isaac, what are you doing? You, you got a second chance. If he turns off the machine, we're all dead. Her? Us? Everyone. Don't let it all go dark, Isaac. There's more than one kind of right. What are you doing? Are you um. Doing Why, why'd you do that? Oh, fucking hell. Um. Finally done it! The darkness is in an end. Let the evolution begin! What the f uh oh! Oh he's dead. When I finish this, it's all going down. Everything. You have to go. No! You two get out of here. Go back to Earth space. Tell them what we found. I'm staying. That's all I got left. You can't stop it, Carver. Not without me. I'm the marker killer, remember? Isaac. I turned my back on the world because I was afraid of what needed to be done. Ellie, I'm not afraid anymore. There's a shuttle over there. I want you to take it and head for home. Don't come back for me. We both know I'm not going home. Go! and they probably could have just turned it off. You think? All right, just, I guess we got to haul ass. Oh! oh, man. There's the machine. We have to get it before the moon does. That's some fucking Cthulhu shit, dude. God damn. What did we fucking summon, Yog sothoth Oh, 
Oh yeah, this looks good. Oh, it looks great. Nothing gonna jump out of us yet? Nothing? No. Uh, count our goddamn blessings. Son of a bitch, you had to say something. It's fucking inevitable. That is the sound of inevitability. seen these things the first time we bumped into them. I'm not sure I'm yeah, more of a fan of them now. Whoa! Big rock, big rock. Stay low. Oh shit, that's paneling. Okay. Get up higher a bit, I think. Get no, we're there. good. Taking it that this is what's left of the fucking surface. Yeah. All right, let's just go. I'll do a quick check here. I, uh... I think I'm just gonna pack in as many fucking health packs as I can and call that good. What about you? About the same. Okay. 
Okay then. Hold on, I gotta try to do this for the last time. God damn it, you moved. Yeah. No. <sighs> Not again. I'm putting my box in your face. There's only one box that I really want in my face, and it ain't yours. Okay! Ah! Oh, fun. Oh, shit. Oh, so we're flying. Oh! Ow. Um, um, fuck! I could have done without that. Uh, whoa! Oh god, another one. Just get on the goddamn platform. What is that? Shit. You gotta kill that thing? There's not enough ammo in the world! Then we'll have to make some up. Look, there's markers floating all around us. We can use this TK charging plate and throw them as weapons. Oh my god. <laughs> Best use of a marker I've ever seen in my life. Give me something to shoot. Come on, you big ugly bastard. Man, watch out! He's throwing giant chunks of rock at us! Yeah, I see him! Not happy. Big eyeball.
Ram that son of a bitch home. Funky shit. Come on. So this is it, huh? Read the codex. Yeah. No more bullshit. You die here? No. But Earth gets it tomorrow. Isaac? Isaac? Are you there? Kava? Isaac? You're gone, aren't you? The Mark Sigma. It's gone too. Isaac, you did it. You really did it. Earth space coordinates confirmed. Shock drive enabled. Standing by. shit, dude. Holy shit.
So I guess that's it. Are you I there? Want more. I want more. Okay. Okay. So, wrapping wrapping my mind around this, they just wrecked the Brethren Moon into the fucking planet to crush it. Yeah. God damn. Well, that that's a hell of a way for Isaac to end it. Poor fucker. Man, what about Carver? Yeah, I know, him too. Well, um, what did you think? Now that we've we've gotten through all of that and we're on the credits. There's a lot of fucking thoughts going on, dude. You know, this whole thing with the Brethren Moon is actually kind of a frightening thought because that could open it for a whole lot more expansion. The fact is that the machine was turned off. Only, but the moon didn't complete there, did it? But it was still alive. It could have alerted the other ones. It... <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you think it may have SOS? Yeah. Or said, come on over. Dinner's on the table. Or <laughs> Zdenek did what he actually wanted to do, the fucker. Well, he did reinitialize convergence. Okay, so. Ooh, that's a lot to wrap the old brain around there. All right, so lore-wise, the necromorphs are controlled by the moons. The moons are the sources for the marker signal. The moons are the true hive minds. But there's got to be something controlling the moons. I mean, yeah. they're obviously being directed to create themselves. Unless it's, you know, protogenesis. But I highly After doubt this. That. This is not the Marker Homeworld. <laughs> yeah. It's got nothing to do with the Marker Homeworld. Yeah, I, I guess there's that. Um, well then, that's uh, so there's still a Marker Homeworld where th this thing came from, where these things came from. Don't know what it came from, or who made them, or, or what made them. At least we got some awesome guitar to kind of send us out here. Chugga, 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 chugga. <laughs> wow. Okay, then. Um... I just love this series. I didn't want Isaac to die, but it was probably inevitable. Like, this series just is death. Well, death is very much a part of it, but... I would say, considering the fact that he just went out looking at the goddamn thing, basically going, fuck you, I win. Okay, maybe not so much fuck you, I win, more of a sad resignation that he's never going to get to, you know, go back and have extremely filthy, you know, victory sex with God Ellie. Uh-huh, I thought I heard fucking Steve Blum in there. God damn it. Cowboy beep boop. It's more appropriate than you realized. <laughs> okay, so... Now that Isaac is apparently dead... And Carver, I guess, bought it too in that. Ellie's the only survivor. Sole survivor at that. If they choose to do any, you gotta figure they might want to do more with this IP. I mean, seriously, it's it's been profitable. You know what? We gotta wait till the end of the credits and see if they have a secret message. Oh, like we get hit with some fucking stinger or something? Yeah, because look at Dead Space 2, they had that. Yeah. Yeah. Good point. Okay. 
what if I'm it's, hoping for if, here. if it's a map of the fucking universe and there's giant planets zooming in, I may just shit myself. Actually, don't we have a DLC coming soon, too? March. Okay, so... Night, well, not that far away, about a little less awakened, than half a I month. Believe. Oh, what's it called? Awakened. That, that sounds like it has potential to be awful. Mm -hmm. In a good way, strictly speaking. I wonder if that's the same Peter Jackson that I think it is. <laughs> Trust me, if you've ever seen the movie Brain Damage, you'd understand that comment. A lot of people complain about, oh, Dead Space isn't scary anymore, it's gone too action-y. It kind of works that way, because, I mean, the first game we didn't know about Necromorphs and they were freaky as fuck. But then you get used to it. So it kind of works. One could even say it's a natural evolution of how the series has progressed. You had the jump scares, you had the, I mean... Okay, yeah, there were a couple of jump scares here, but it wasn't overall scary, but the atmosphere is still very much intact, I think. This is still a Dead Space game. Yeah, it's just it's about like, how oh you God, go I'm about going it. To die. Holy shit. Well, yeah, there there were several parts like that. I mean, my god, that opening the door and that fucking alien necromorph bastard staring me in the face <laughs> kind of made me jump a little bit. I almost flung my mouse. I wasn't paying attention, and to be perfectly honest, the only other thing I can remember ever giving me that kind of a jump was whenever I opened the fucking Iron Maiden in goddamn Amnesia. Um, it's a big ugly alien boot thing. It spits out exploding babies. Yeah, it was nice to see those little fuckers brought back at the last minute. Here's my question, though. Those Were those human babies, or were they alien babies? Oh, they were fucking alien babies, dude. Did you not look at their heads? Well, I was kind of looking at them, and I was going, really? Uh... So it was basically a complete and total extinction-level event. The markers do. Brings me to another point. Aegis 7. What about I it? I get the feeling that the hive mind there wasn't a hive mind, obviously, but the planet's fucking mouth. You think Aegis 7 itself was a moon? It may not have exactly been a moon, but... Um, it could have been the formation of it. Yeah, because you know, it's mouth. Have enough matter. Its mouth didn't quote-unquote appear until after they cracked the fucking planet open. Yeah. You think, oh, well didn't... Wasn't the marker put there on that planet by the forces? It was originally a small experiment. So they made it. Yeah. Wonderful. It was essentially called the first Aegis 7 incident. The one that Isaac and the one that happened that the, the game was based on was the second incident. So wait, there was something else that happened on Aegis 7 that... You remember... Pre-blacklisting? the game, it showed like three red marker locations that included Aegis 7. True. actually be interesting if we went to those other locations. Hmm. The music is very pretty though, I have to say. But just that thought though, that if what I'm thinking, if that was the case of Aegis 7 being turned into an actual moon instead of creating a moon based on the fact that there isn't enough organic tissue, because Aegis 7 was basically just rock. 
the only mess that there was was the original experiment, which was a small experiment, and then the fucking colony on the Ishimura, which isn't that much. Hive Mind was still pretty big, though. Yeah, but not big enough to create a giant moon. What I'm getting at is this shit adapts and can do what it fucking wants. fucking creepy how like Cthulhu like that fucking mm. <laughs> well it kind of fits hmm. yeah but now they're undead oh an undead space horror that's great like cosmic be oh Ellie? Ellie? What? Okay. <laughs>